Well, with Redstone 2 out, Creators Update, it's time to take care of business. To get started, you're going to need to download the things that are showing on your screen. You'll also find links to those in the video description. So, first thing you're going to want to do is grab the ESD decryptor file and extract that to a folder where you have your ESD file for Windows 10 Creators Update that you've downloaded and quite simply you want to open a command prompt as an administrator and type out the word decrypt pretty simple let that uh, run through the motions you want to select uh, item number one there to create an ISO from an ESD file and I've sped this up so that you don't have to sit here and watch nothing happening so it's uh, I think I sped it up like 10 times the normal speed here to get through this faster for you. So we let this uh, decrypt. It's going to create an ISO file from the ESD that you downloaded. So there we have it. You can see the ISO in the folder. Um, it's actually finishing that up right now. 100% complete. There's our new ISO. So we're done with that part. Pretty easy, straightforward, not much to it. So another thing that you're going to want to do to prepare for this is the uh, toolkit that you've downloaded. You'll want to extract the contents of that into the root directory of either your C drive or D drive, uh, wherever you'd like to put it for a working directory. And once this ISO is completed, you're going to want to put a copy of that ISO into the folder where you've extracted that toolkit. So can see it's all done press any key to continue so you see I've placed that toolkit right in my D drive and I've copied that ISO over so we're going to right click on it and we're going to extract it with WinZip we're going to open that folder select everything that's in there and cut or copy either one and we're going to put the content of that into the DVD folder. Just paste it right in there. So now that that's there, we can delete that folder. We're not going to need it anymore. Where we extracted the ISO. Now we're going to run and go down to the toolkit uh, command file, right click it, and run as administrator. While this loads, you'll have to A to accept. Once it finishes loading up there, press any key to continue. You want to select your source and select the source from the DVD folder. You'll see that it's identified Windows 10 Pro, so we're going to select number one. If you have a multi um, ISO that has multiple versions of uh, Windows 10, you can select the one that you want to mod or you can, you can mod all of them. It's up to you. So uh, we wait and watch as that mounts up the WIM files and gets it ready for us to uh, do our modding. Now here again, I've sped this up like 10 times uh, so that the video is not quite as long. It's going to take longer than what you're seeing on my screen right now for it to go through this process of mounting the WIM files. So don't worry if it takes long. Once that's completed, you're going to want to select 4 to remove, and then we're going to select 1 to remove default Metro apps. Now here you can choose all apps, or you can choose these individually, um, remove them one at a time, however you want to do it. If you want to get rid of everything, you could select 2 for all apps, or 3 for all apps except for Store and Xbox. So however you want to do it, you can just go through one at a time and remove the, the, the filth that uh, you have no use for. Or if there's something you want to keep there, uh, you can do that. 
I think a lot of you will just want to choose the option to get rid of everything with all apps number two or three. So this is an automated process and it'll go through here and I selected the option to select just the first one so we're going to go back. I select the 3D Builder so if I type in B that'll select the uh, alarm clock go back to remove again select number one again we can remove the calculator we're going to want to install the uh, the older calculator version anyway because the new one's crap so I go through these one at a time pick and choose just demonstrating to you now that that's how you can do it but if you want to do it the quick and easy way just choose option two or three to remove all apps or remove all but the store and Xbox. Here again, you're in control here. That's the beauty of this tool. You're not at the mercy of Microsoft to accept this piece of crap the way they released it. Um, you can do it your way. So rather than watching me do these one by one, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video about ten times so that I'm not wasting your time watching me do this redundant work. So once you're done removing all the apps that you want to remove, if you did not choose the option to remove all of them, is we're going to go in and uh, we're going to remove all the default Metro app associations. So what we'll do once that's all done, let's go back to remove again and choose number two in the menu. And it's going to remove all of the default Metro App Associations. Then we're going to go back into Remove and remove Windows Components. So item number three. So you want to select that. Answer yes to continue. You can read the graph that's on your screen if you want to. I don't care. So I'm just going to yes to continue. Three. Remove the Windows components. So on this screen I'm just going to choose number one to remove all the components. You, you could choose to keep what you wanted just like we did on the other screen like if you wanted to keep biometrics for your card reader or Windows Hello crap you could do that but I think most of you are going to want to get, get rid of most of this stuff especially Cortana the digital slut we want her out of our life so as you can see, it's removing all the Windows components. Now, don't worry about removing Cortana. Some people think that they're not going to have Windows search functionality anymore. And trust me, you will. You will not have the search bar on your, or the search uh, field on your uh, taskbar. That'll be gone. But if you use a third-party start menu, you'll have the search field there. Or any folder that you have open like the one showing on my desktop now. Um, you can type in the text in the upper right hand corner there and hit enter or click on the uh, magnifying glass. And the classic Windows search function still works great. But once you've removed uh, Cortana, you won't even have that service running anymore. You'll be able to get, get rid of that garbage, Skype, uh, all that worthless trash that just bogs your system down and makes it run like crap. So it takes a little bit of time to do that as well. It's almost done here. So that completed successfully. It's removing the telemetry. It'll go through these components one by one. So I think I'm going to pause now and uh, speed up this video again for you. So as that's finishing up, just about to wind down here. Sped it up 10 times normal speed. 
and press any key to continue. It's finished removing the Windows components. So now what we're going to want to do is select 6 to apply it. And all the, the changes, apply changes to source WIM files, number 1. Let that go through its process. Again, it'll take some time to churn and burn. This is actually pretty fast on my machine. I did this with it running at 4.7 gigahertz with the 7700K. If, you, if you've got a hexacore, an octacore CPU, it's going to be a lot faster. If you've got a BGA turd book that's running like 3.5 gigahertz and that kind of thing, it's going to take a little bit longer, but no worries. So that's writing the changes to the WIM files, applying them. We'll go ahead and speed up the time lapse on this video again. Again, I want to respect your time. Plus, we don't have those awkward periods of complete silence as you're watching nothing happen and, and me saying nothing. So, this is about ready to wind down. And once the changes are applied, it's going to take us, it's going to tell us that it's completed. Press any key to continue. Now, we're going to want to uh, select the target and we're going to make it a DVD ISO image and it's going to put it right there in the ISO folder. So select number one. And here we're going to give it a volume label. And I'm going to call it whatever I feel like. You can see what I've chosen there as I'm typing away. You can whatever your heart desires, knock yourself out, call it whatever you want. So Once you've selected the volume label, you want to select a name for the ISO. Do not type ISO at the end of the file name. Just type the name you want. It'll automatically add the ISO extension to it. There you go. That's working away to complete that. Finish building an ISO image and X to quit. We're done now. There's our ISO. It's all ready to go. So we'll select X to quit and then any key to continue. That'll close that DOS dialog box and that's it. Now if we look on my uh, starters back menu, you'll notice that there's no apps folder and I have Xbox and store left. During this demonstration, I chose to keep those two items so that if I wanted to play uh, a game, say like Gears of War 4, that's only available through the Windows Store, I can do that. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.